Are you looking for a way to really customize your sewing projects? Try covering your own buttons. They're pretty easy. I'll show you how. Coming up. Hey, Chanel here bringing you weekly videos to help you get better and better with your fashion sewing and be more creative too. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new video. So years ago when I was doing costume design in the movies, I made this really great jacket top and a skirt to match. It was for a funeral scene and I wanted her to look really great and like wearing couture clothes with custom pieces. And uh, so they did the whole scene and they just shot it from here up. <laughs> they got to see nothing of this whole thing. So nobody's ever worn it. Well, they wore it, but it's never been seen outside of my studio. <laughs> but, um, I thought, you know, I wanted to customize it so that the buttons didn't pop out and I wanted the pipings to pop out, but I um, thought I'd do cover buttons and they really add to a garment. And uh, you can see the little silver on the back and I just covered them myself. They're pretty simple. One of the most covered buttons you see are little bridal buttons and um, those are little tiny ones and you can actually buy those um, very easily, all pre-done. So don't go doing that if you're you know, making bridal buttons. Uh, this is, here's like a little white one that I covered a long time ago. I was looking through my stash of uh, buttons. I have a little uh, self-covered button kit and I uh, keep all the little tools in there. The little satin ones are good. And then um, I love this one. This was, I remember, a kit that I bought and it has the little, um, it has this little ring on it. I haven't bought any lately, so I don't know, I can't remember. I don't even know if they still have these, but this was, this was so cool. I covered it and covered it in any, this was, this is a black velvet. You can cover them in any, um, any fabrics um, that you want. Prints, it's really cool with prints because then uh, you're matching the print. So actually, I'll show you with a print. We'll, uh, we'll uh, yeah, do a, an experiment. <laughs> anyway, but um, the tools are, um, you got these little um, pieces that you buy. They'll come in, uh, packages like this. It says uh, half ball. They, they have the, the like rounded shape. They have a flat shape. Uh, their sizes are down here. And this is the one that doesn't need a kit, although I still like the kit. And the kit is, um, I actually don't have it here, but like this says refill. This is another um, type of button. This one is, um, let me see, it looks like this. It's just this piece and then this piece right here. And this is what the back looks like. Then there's the other ones that have, they say they don't need a kit, but they're so much easier because these have um, little prongs on it, which are actually help, really help keep the fabric in there. Um, but they're just so hard to get it without the kit. And the kit is just simply this and a, a pusher thing that just pushes the fabric in. Actually, that's not it. This is the silver one like this. And um, real simple. It's just, it's got to be this soft um, kind of plastic so that you can pop the button out. And um, they're real simple to do. I'm going to show you how. All right, so I thought we'd covered this one first. This is a three-quarter inch button, so we need these two pieces. And then I have this tool here. Um, this, I don't have the tool package, but it'll just say cover button tool and tool kit, and it'll just include these. It's like a dollar or two more. And, um, and then these are like if you, once you already have these, you just keep and then buy the refills. Um, the back directions are pretty simple. A lot of people don't read those, but <laughs> um, what this one, what you do says cut the circle twice the diameter, and it's and you don't have to. It says cut fabric circle. You can actually just do a square. So I just so we'll do this print right here. You actually just kind of just do a little square, and then you put the right side down into um, over that, and then you just push this in here. Actually, and then you use the pusher. This right here, you can, you can see how dented it is. I've used them so many times. You just push it down into um, the little, whatever you call this. <laughs> and then um, right here, you can actually then 
just come in here and trim this fabric right here so you don't really even have to start with a circle just kind of get this trimmed here but you want to make sure you have fabric that can go into this center then you just push it in there make sure it's not too clumpy and then you just take the other piece here lay it over and then you just push that also down right here it just gets pushed in there <laughs> you gotta kind of squeeze it down in there like that if I got it in there if that's the right size one I have there I guess you hear I heard like a little snap and it'll snap in there and then it's in there and you just push it out like that and there's your button pretty cute so you can actually have like a nice printed button and these really stay in there you just got to make sure pull it out and if the thread is if the fabric is too clumpy in there it'll pop out but um, you don't need glue or anything so um, do a couple practices and they'll it'll be easy now then there's these other ones these like little tiny ones are really kind of harder to do um, and then they're plastic one that I have here it doesn't move as much these ones are a lot better because they are softer now this one says um, cut a, f a pattern out this size in a circle um, when they're smaller like that it might be easier but again you make a little circle pattern right here I'm just going to estimate it make like a miniature pizza pie right there way too big um, but what I'm going to do is just I don't know, that might need to shorten it a little bit more. <laughs> Sometimes the smaller these are, it can't take too much fabric in there. A little bit shorter there, like that. And then put that over, right side into there. And then the little pusher on this one is that small. So you just got to push it in like that. <laughs> it's kind of hard to do. Now they, uh, this one says you don't need a tool, so you could actually just um, push it into the little teeth. You just have to really get it in there, and it's really hard. Um, like right here, I might trim this out also. Just kind of get it in there, and then you can use your shears to um, push that down. And then the, the little teeth really help it grip, especially these smaller ones. Um, I've done them with that other one too and they work really good. So just get so not too much fabric in there. Um, and then also not too limited or little, but you gotta practice with these a little bit. And then you have this little, this is the end piece right here, and uh, has the the groove part that goes towards the fabric, and then you get it <laughs> on there, right there, and then this little um, tool pusher right here just goes in and you push it down. You should hear a snap. Sometimes you'll hear it kind of snap in there. Not sure it went in. And then and you gotta push that one out. Like that. There we go. Oh, these are little. And they break all your nails. That's why my nails look so bad. <laughs> and there's your little button. That one's cute. Like that. So little. But that is how you cover those buttons. So um, these are some buttons. I had this from 1940s, it looked like. <laughs> They're like 39 cents. And um, you'll also find these uh, nylon cover type buttons with the little, they got little grips in there too. That's probably easy too. And uh, it says no tools needed, washable and dry cleanable. And then it, this one looks like you do a little bit of hand stitching on that one. These look a little more complicated. That takes too long. These ones are better. Anyway, <laughs> well, there you have it. Custom buttons. So if you had a crazy print and you didn't want to, you couldn't find the right button for it, you could actually just make your own. Really customize it. I love that. <laughs> Gotta find a place to use this. Anyway, if you found that this video valuable, give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any comments, um, any questions, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next SoBit.